Hi, I'm Shelly Wood, and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today, I'm going to show you how to sew a little skirt. It's a super simple skirt to make. And it has an elastic waist. It should fit your 10 inch or 25.4 centimeter size dolls like the Creatable World dolls, Mattel Skipper dolls, Disney's Moana 10 inch dolls, and a number of other similar size dolls in this size range. Now before we begin, please go to ShellyWood.com and you want to download and print this free PDF sewing pattern. Use the free pattern to cut out the skirt's fabric. Create a double fold hem by folding the edge of your fabric once and then a second time. This is the long side of the fabric. And then you're going to stitch the hem from one end to the other. Now I used a sewing machine to stitch my hem, but you could use a hand stitch. I would recommend the whip stitch and if you need help with that I have a tutorial for it. Look in the description below this video on YouTube. Now measure your doll's waist for elastic and cut it to fit snugly with about a quarter inch of extra elastic. I'm using a narrow 1 4 inch wide elastic for my doll. Create a casing by folding once just like you did with the hem and then folding again but leaving a gap wide enough that you can actually fit your elastic through the gap. You will need a little extra room for your stitches along the very bottom of the casing edge. It helps to pin where you want your stitches. Now you have to ask yourself, will this elastic fit inside once I sew it? Align the two raw edges of the fabric, so that's, that's where we haven't sewn, and measure from hem to casing. You want these to be identical in length because you'll eventually stitch the these two raw edges together. So adjust your pins, your straight pins as needed before stitching the casing bottom. And you'll see me doing that. I'm looking to see how long is it from the casing to the hem and do I need to move my casing edge so that they're exactly thumb to thumb there, exactly the same distance. Now stitch the casing edge. You'll see me doing that here in my little stop motion video that's next. Now your casing should look like this. Place a safety pin through the end of the elastic that you cut and send the elastic through the casing you've made. So as I do this, I'm kind of moving that safety pin along, but I have to secure the end of the elastic. Make sure you put a straight pin all the way through your elastic on both ends. So when I get to this other end, I remove that safety pin and I put yet another straight pin through. Give it a couple tugs. Now hold the elastic ends in place with those straight pins the whole time you're working from here for quite a while. You're going to sew from where the two elastic ends meet down the length of the skirt all the way to the hem and including the hem. Now you can remove the straight pins and if you have some you can trim off any excess elastic that you might have had. Usually that's just with bigger dolls though. Now you can invert the skirt when you uh, see me doing that you'll think wow that's a big skirt well it was for a bigger doll but the essentially it's the same instructions okay now you're ready to try it on a doll it's such a cute little skirt and you could use any fabric i recommend cottons though for more free printable sewing patterns to fit dolls of many shapes and all different sizes 
remember to visit my website shellywood.com Well, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my videos and my free patterns, please share them on social media. It actually helps my website grow when you help spread the word.